didn't believe this at first. Jose Salvador Alvarenga went on a fishing trip with Ezequiel Cordoba off the coast of Mexico. Soon after they launched, they were hit by a storm that lasted five days and damaged a lot of their equipment and gear. Even though at that point they had already caught over a thousand pounds of fresh fish, they had to dump it all overboard to make the boat somewhat maneuverable in the bad weather. Even though they were very much lost at sea, the men were able to survive by catching seafood and drinking rainwater, turtle blood, and their own urine. However, weeks into the disaster, Cordoba did pass away from illness and starvation. Before he died, he made Jose promise that he would not eat his body, and he didn't. But six days later, he found himself going insane and was forced to throw the body overboard. After 438 days at sea, Jose spotted a beach nearby and quickly abandoned his boat to swim to shore. Once he was rescued, doctors were amazed that he didn't have scurvy, and after only 11 days in the hospital, he was able to go back to his home in El Salvador. The Cordoba family does speculate that their son's body might have been carnivalized by Jose, but those are just allegations. But man, this is a story so crazy that 